Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Omega Metroid Podcast. My name is Andy Spateri, and as always, I'm joined by Dakota Lasky. Dak, how the heck are you today, bud? I am. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Uh, it's been pretty hot out lately, uh, so I've been sweating, staying in the AC as much as I can. Um, been I got I got plat I got platinum in Valorant, which is hype. Played some rank this weekend, uh, and I also got addicted to uh, RPG Maker. That was on sale on Steam, so I've been playing that, and I know you were joking with me over the weekend. Maybe we'll, maybe I'll do the Metroid RPG, and I'll, I might do that. But yeah, that, that RPG Maker is pretty cool. I've been having fun with that. But yeah, it's been it's been good. Been chilling. How are you? Uh, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I uh, I've been playing a lot of Super Metroid lately. Actually, just kind of going back and revisiting that world and that. I just like can't say how much I love Super Metroid. Um, I also finished a Hat in Time mm. uh, a couple like a week ago, which is like a blast. It was so fun. It just reminded me of like Super Mario Galaxy, uh, which was a blast as well. So I, I like highly recommend that game to uh, to anybody looking for like a 3D Mario fix because it was very charming, and very fun. But uh, you know, it's been uh, it's a little bit overcast today, so. Uh, can't complain it's a nice break from the heat because uh believe it or not it does actually get really hot in canada at certain times of the year yeah so um yeah doing pretty good all things considered that's good man that's good it's actually it is a bit overcast today uh i think it's gonna start raining in a day or so and it rained a little bit yesterday but i mean it has been absolutely crazy hot beautiful days over the weekend over the long weekend but uh, i think we have some rain in store but i'm glad it's glad it's not too crazy hot over there by you all right, well, we have a crazy hot episode for you guys today. <laughs> we are going to be power ranking the suits of uh, one Samus Aran in the Metroid series. And we're going to be uh, doing it the same format that we did the Ridley battles way back when, where we're going to we're gonna discuss one, and then we'll discuss another, and we'll rank it either above or below. Then we'll discuss the third one and rank that either above, below, or in the middle, etc., etc., until mm-hmm. we have one big list. Um, before we get there, though, I have a few quick things that I want to mention. Uh, first, I just want to give a shout out to our friends over at Mother Forever. That is a uh, Earthbound slash Mother fan site, and uh, you know they were good enough to um, to retweet us and, and get us a bunch of followers over on Twitter. So uh, we want to give them a shout out. Uh, they, you might remember me a couple weeks ago talking about they put on a Mother Direct, which was oh just yes, like I remember that. So it was so well done and so professional. And, uh, you know, us us underrepresented Nintendo franchise podcast uh, slash websites got to stick together. So uh, if you're not checking out Mother Forever and you're an Earthbound fan, make sure that you are. A uh, little second piece of, of news that I wanted to, uh, to just put out there for everybody. My Zelda podcast, the Champions Cast, has uh, officially joined the world of Facebook. Wow. So if you, if you are on Facebook... Uh, Please go and give the page a like and a follow. Um, it's over on Facebook at the Champions Cast, so you can either check it out on Facebook or you could just go over to Zelda Dungeon, and the the link is right there. So um, yeah, do me a favor and, and check us out on Facebook. We're gonna be doing like a Facebook AMA in the next uh, week or so. So if you want to get your Zelda questions answered, uh, you can head over to Facebook and ask him. Woo! So yeah, yeah, there it is. I don't have anything uh, to add. <laughs> Last last bit of news, actually, and speaking of Facebook, um, Ryan from the Metroid Database uh, messaged me this morning, and he was just like, man, the, we, we got a lot of people talking about the uh, the Federation Force debacle, as he so aptly called it. And, uh, you know, I went over to the comments section of Metroid Database, and there was a ton of people just debating and discussing our Federation Force uh, thoughts. So I really love to see that. Make sure that you're following them on Facebook as well. And, uh, you know, we love to see... Your guys's your guys's feedback. There's a lot of diverse comments in there. Some people thought that we were unfair to the game. Some people uh, were less than favorable to Federation Force. But you know, I loved reading it, and I read them all. So uh, again, make sure that you are over on Facebook, Metroid Database, and uh, they post all of our podcast episodes over there. So if you want to debate, debate away over on Facebook and over on Discord as well. We have a channel on the Metroid Database uh, Discord server. So lots of places to interact. Yeah. I love, I love it. I love it. All right. Well, Dak, we uh, we have a lot to get into today. Uh, we I do. guess 
Should we just get right into the meat and potatoes here of, of what we're here to do? I'm here to rank some suits, Andy. Let's, so let's do, do it. it. Okay, but first, uh, a few kind of rules of engagement here. So Dak and I kind of uh, decided that instead of ranking like eight different versions of the various suit, we're going to just uh, amalgamate them all into one. So there's only going to be one various suit, one power suit, one gravity suit. But when we get to those different suits, we can discuss which ones we liked, which ones we didn't, and uh, that can kind of influence our vote. So if there's one like really wicked various suit, but then there's another stinker, maybe that'll just kind of even it out. So um, just keep that in mind. There's not going to be a bunch of different versions of all these suits. I know I heard a bunch of people in particular say that the, the Samus Returns gravity suit was their favorite, but it's all going to be lumped into one. So uh, sorry, not sorry. We didn't want to rank like 30 different suits. But that being said, I think that is the only rule of engagement here. And we are ready to go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 suits to rank. My God goodness Dak, we better get started here well yeah let's do it i was gonna say though the fusion suit is also a, a weird one too right because we're counting yeah. the fusion suit as its own thing and not like a version of the power suit but the fusion suit also has a varia and a gravity uh version and then the omega suit which we are counting as separate as the fusion suit so that's and, gonna be and a to weird be honest one. my my original idea was like since all of the the fusion suit variants are like basically the fusion suit just different colors which i mean i guess you could say about all i was the gonna suits, say but... that's the same thing that's true for a <laughs> so, lot of suits though in my mind i was just like well it's so distinctively the fusion suit that i just kind of yeah classed them all together um but you know what this is this is our list damn it and we'll we'll make some exceptions whenever we want so um yeah whatever let's we'll get started deck how do you how do you want to do this do you want to pick at random or do you want to go chronologically in the order that i have them i think whatever you whatever uh However you feel, man, whatever makes you feel happy, I, I, okay. you let it rip. Okay. Uh, we're going to do it chronologically then, and maybe I'll throw in a few curveballs uh, in between. Let's start off and talk about the first suit in the series, the iconic power suit. And, uh, you know, this one, it's funny because this is the first suit in the series. You play as Samus in the power suit in Metroid, but it isn't the suit that you think of when you think of samus right well you said iconic you think... and i was like i feel like most people don't know like everyone assumes like the various suit is like the base suit i think and it is the yeah. base suit in some games but um i definitely wouldn't say iconic i would say the suit you want to get rid of the quickest because that it's ugly most of the time like in metroid prime i can't wait to get the various suit man Ugh. It, it's weird too because like we associate the uh like we associate samus's character with the shoulder pads mm -hmm. and like the big bulky balls that she has on her shoulders yeah. and it like if you were just saying that alone that seems weird but it seems weird now to look at, at samus without the shoulder pads on her shoulders i'm looking at her zero mission suit i'm looking at her metroid prime suit uh, it just it seems like there's like something missing well, off i, of this. I will and... say oh continue sorry no no go ahead i was gonna say that the one exception i think is the zero mission power suit, but I think that's a lot because it doesn't like the, the art style of zero mission for one is, is awesome. Yes. Um, so it kind of yeah. makes everything look more badass. Um, but the power suit and zero mission, like, especially how she holds herself, it doesn't make her look like weak, you know, like the shoulder pads still look like they have a little bit of like padding to them. Um, and you know, I think like the, the shoulder pads, obviously for like the very and other suits have some other functionality, whether they're storage or, you know, some kind of engine or turbine, whatever they are, right? But they still have some kind of protection, uh, uh, you know, kind of utility to mm -hmm. them, right? And in Zero Mission, that's how it f feels. Whereas I look at, like, the, the power suit in Metroid Prime or, like, in the original Metroid or something, um, and they don't feel as, like, strong. Um, but, again, that could just be, like, the posture and how she's holding herself and the art style. Um, I do think, yeah, like not having the shoulder pads is like so much of her image. At the same time, though, that's one of the reasons why I love the the fusion suits, which we'll get to, is because they don't have the shoulder pads and they look distinctly different. But like the power suits that are just regular power suits and and don't have like you know a distinct difference like the fusion suits, they just look like the weaker, the cheap knockoff area suits. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I wish I had the cool 
cosplay version but i had to go pick up the the walmart halloween costume that, that's version. the that's the suit that you get when you order off wish yeah exactly <laughs> it comes in with no shoulder pads yeah, you get that off amazon i agree with you actually i think that um the power suit isn't necessarily cooler in zero mission i just think it's the artwork that's a lot cooler in zero mission because it has like that really cool comic-y kind of style i love it uh you know i guess that we should specify too dak we we don't have any criteria for like how we're ranking these suits like it could be we just like the way they look. It also could be, uh, for me, some of them later will come into play when like you start talking about the function of the suits and the actual games themselves. So it's kind of a mixture of both how it looks and how it functions. Uh, to me, that's my definition of it. And so in both of those regards, the power suit doesn't exactly rank favorably. Although, like we said, it does look pretty cool in Zero Mission. But I think it's on the lower end of the, of the Samus suits in, in my eyes. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'll admit, I'm mostly uh, aesthetic here. I'm almost entirely basing my choice on what I think looks cooler. Um, but yeah, I'm also taking into consideration utility and, and features, but maybe not so much as you are. Uh, to that extent, yeah, I think just how Zero Mission you know, presents the power suit is probably the best for me. Um, other games, I think, but that kind of makes sense for other games, not really to do too much of it because, you know, it's the default base suit. You're not really supposed to be doing too much with it. That's kind of the point. Um, right. so it, it is what it is. Um, okay. Well, that is the power suit ranked. Uh, I'm going to pull a fast one here and go down to the bottom of the list. And I want to talk about the hazard shield from Metroid prime three corruption. And this one is kind of weird because it's, it's almost like it's not exactly a suit, but it's distinct enough that we wanted to count it. Um, I really love this suit. You, Of course, you play with the PED suit for most of the game, and eventually you get to the pirate homeworld, and it's raining acid everywhere, and you find out that you need the, the hazard shield. And eventually, like you're thinking that it's going to kind of be just like, um, like a little add-on or something like that. And I'm always surprised that when I get it, it really does like kind of change the whole look of Samus's suit. And give her, I mean, the PED suit has kind of pronounced shoulder pads already, but the hazard shields just have like really pronounced shoulder pads. They look really cool. They have the kind of like the panel on the front of them that's like glowing blue. Mm -hmm. At this point, her whole suit is like corrupted and it's it's glowing blue. Uh, I think it looks really wicked. It has, uh, it, it kind of looks like a mix of almost Dark Samus and the gravity suit together because the shoulder pads are purple and her boots look a little bit purple but the the torso is still blue and of course she's still got the uh the ped symbol on her on her chest and she's got the you know like iconic samus helmet i'm a big fan of this one actually and extra points because it does protect you in the game as well and this is kind of like your it's one of the last power-ups that you get in corruption uh, actually and so it's kind of like your ultimate weapon in a sense we're like now that you have it, you can go anywhere and you can do anything. So I'm, I'm a big fan of the Hazard Shield, actually. I think that it is a slept-on version of Samus's suits. What do you what say you to that? Well, it's definitely better than the Power Suit, that's for sure. So if we're doing the, the dropping on the list thing, it's obviously above that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I love this suit. It, Samus looks so cool. I love how it highlights all the different lines and ridges of her suit. You know, the, the contours and the geometry of how her suit's put together. Uh, but also like the glow onto her visor and like the creeping corruption like on her ribs and against like the contrast of like the glow of her arm cannon, which at that you know later in the game you have I forgot the the last the, the last weapon you get like the green one um, <clears throat> that one like uh, the Nova beam the Nova beam yeah yeah uh, the Nova yeah. beam it looks sick against this the suit too but yeah i i love it it does have that gravity suit look to it while it mixed with dark sam is 100 percent agree um and i and i wish more suits had this kind of like you know extra glow and effect to it a lot of suits are kind of just uh, uh in, well not a lot of them but many of them are kind of just color swaps palette swaps right. or whatever and this one really, uh, just like the the PED or you know the original PED suit too, it also changes like how the suit looks beyond just changing colors. But here, like it goes the extra step. It has you know the symbol. It has the the extra colors. The blue looks so sick against like the red and the purples. Um, yeah, I really love this suit. It looks awesome, and it really goes in line with the like. I love like as the game is 
you know, progressing and Sam is becoming more corrupted. Like her suit is also, you know, changing along with her. That, yeah. Exactly. Um, and yeah, you bring up the shoulder pads too. They're weird looking. Cause it's kind of like, she has like the, like the light suit almost, but then she has like these extra add ons to on them. Like these purple with like the, like you said, the blue, um, glowing panels on them. It's, it's a weirdly constructed suit, but it works. I really like it. Yeah. I think the shoulder pads really make it actually. Cause like, they they were a little bit rounded before, but now they're just very angular and like very, very like robotic, which I think looks really cool. I don't know if it's just the so Dak and I have a, a list uh, with all the pictures of all the different suits in front of us here. I don't know if it's just this particular picture, but man, her arm cannon looks massive in the Hazard Shield suit. Like it, it just like it looks big as a house. Like mm. uh, so maybe maybe that's an effect of the of the hazard shield suit or maybe it's just the particular you know maybe it's just the particular i, image I think it might be the she's image because yeah, so. i'm looking at other images and it doesn't look any particularly <laughs> it, look, it looks giant anything. right it does look kind of big though um but you know also like the beams change the size of the cannon too you know so maybe the nova beam right uh just like that size is is um you know kind of looks a little bit off but in these other pictures i'm looking at um and in the game i don't think it looks very weird i also want to say before we move on that i and and i uh, this too about the PED suit. I love how like these changes in Prime Three to the suit upgrades, like they stack on top of the suit that's already there, rather than like kind of changing the entire structure of the suit. Like you know, the dark suit and the light suit are like very like distinctly different right. looking suits. Like and, you know, the PED suit it adds like these uh, gray kind of coverings to the shoulder pads and like to her legs and all that, and like of course the the symbol in the front. And then on in the uh, the Hazard Shield version. You've got, like, if you look around on her body and stuff, it's, it's like her regular suit, but you can see all these different, like, pieces, like, Iron Man onto her, like, and, like, on, stacked on top of her shield or onto her suit rather than kind of, you know, um, having a, a different suit completely. I love that look. So, yeah, I, I love this. I love what Prime di 3 did with the, uh, the suit upgrades, and this is definitely a favorite of mine. I love the Hazard Shield, so definitely above the power suit <laughs> for sure. All right. So we've got number one, the Hazard Shield, and number two, the power suit and we'll update you on our list after every new suit that we rank um let's move on you just mentioned it let's talk about the dark suit from metroid prime mm. 2 echoes i'll let you go first because i have some thoughts i think this suit is weird but cool i it doesn't like when you look at it, it doesn't seem very practical i think because the shoulder pads feel like they stick out a little too much um but I, I love it. it has that kind of like steampunk aesthetic to it. Uh, it's a weird suit, but it's always been one of my favorites. It just it stands. It's like bulky and clunky looking. Um, it's it, it it's a weird reflection of the weird weird world that you find it in. Um, and I think it looks cool in, in Smash too. But yeah, it's a weird suit. I like this suit though. I, the shoulder pads were all the thing that I think stick out to me the most. And I think to most people. Um, as well as the right. color scheme, it's very different. I don't think there's any other brown kind of really anything in Metroid. Like you don't really don't get brown stuff in terms of upgrades a lot of the time, especially not suits. This is not a color you you see at all. Um, so like the the silver brown with like red flare, it's such a weird color scheme. It makes sense for for Prime Two and 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 the story and what you know the surroundings. But just in you know um, looking at this suit alongside all the other suits is so weird because it stands out like so much compared to the other suits it's so unlike all the other ones um and i think that's what makes it really good i would say for me i'd probably put it under the hazard shield though um even though it is a good uh, suit like the the cyber or not cyber but the the steampunk aesthetic is not one of my favorites um so just mm -hmm. for me personally it's not something that i always like loved um overall but I really do like the suit, like most suits in Metroid. I think it's cool. I like how it stands out. But yeah, it's it's a bit steampunky. It's a bit weird. It's a bit brown. Uh, it's an interesting suit. Below the Hazard Shield for me, but above the Power Suit. Yeah, I agree. That's exactly where I would put it on our list so far. Uh, you know, I I actually don't know if I like this or not. Like, mm -hmm. I I think I do, but like I'm looking at it and it's it's tough when it's um like like I said, we're looking at all these images of the different suits. And it's tough when this one is kind of right next to the phase on suit because yeah. it's kind of like the same aesthetic almost where like it's a darker suit, but I just think that it's, 
not as cool looking. Like this one is is dark but more muted. Like it has I wouldn't muted say it's the same it has... aesthetic though. Yeah, because it is exactly. It's well, muted. Like, kind of. It, yeah. I don't. I wouldn't agree that it has the same it's, aesthetic. It's like a. It's like a darker. It's like a darker style. But you suit, look at the like face. Yeah, it's, it's a darker styled suit. I'll agree. But the face and suit is glossy. It's it's jet black. It has the exactly, red flare. That's my point. But yeah, but this suit is muted. It's not like jet. It doesn't have like a very stark. Like looked, I feel like they had, right. That that that's my point. It's it's a much more muted suit. It's just yeah, but the face and suit is uh, muted. It's missing. Well, I know, but like they're they're like kind of sort of similar in the fact that they're like darker colors. I agree with that. Bright yellows or oranges or whatever. Right. So like yeah. they're they're kind of similar in that way. But it is it's far more muted. The colors don't pop like they do in the phase on suit. Um, her visor looks very muted, which is always one of the cool things about all the suits that she has. Like the visor usually just like pops out. And yeah, those shoulder pads are like super, super weird. They make your morph ball look incredibly strange in Echoes. Um, and you know what? Also, too, I don't, I don't love that this suit doesn't give you immunity to uh, to Dark Aether in Echoes either, uh, which is a small thing, but it's just kind of annoying too that you get the dark suit, which you figure would give you immunity in the dark world, and it doesn't. I mean, it helps, but it doesn't resolve the problem. This one, to me. I think it's going to be lower on my final list, even though it is unique and it does look pretty cool uh, in its own steampunk way, like you said. But yeah, something about it just doesn't, uh, I don't know. I think it's the muted colors that I don't like. I think I like my suits to pop and this one doesn't pop necessarily, which, you know what, which is fine. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think I think right in between uh, the first two is perfect. So we have number one, the hazard shield, number two, the dark suit, and number three, the poor power suit. Um, let's move on, unless you have any final thoughts about uh, about that. Nope, I think we covered it. Okay, cool. Um, all right, let's go, and I'm going to pick another one at random here. Let's talk about... Let's do a big one. Let's talk about the fusion suit. Yes, I love Dak, this suit. I, this is one of your favorites, I right? I love the fusion suit, man. I love it. It's so cool. It's so sick. Can I can I just talk about it? Oh yeah. yeah so yeah, I love the fusion it. suit. So yeah, it's not like any other suit, obviously, but it's it's so perfect for the game. It's like it feels like the the symbiote in Spider Man or something, or like it's a suit like made of like an organism, pretty much, kind of like it's stick. It's like stuck to her skin, and it feels so much more organic. It has like the like the the talon or like sharp edges on the arms and these like the breaking um and you know in the in the flesh oh it's so sick i love how like the muscles show out it's it's awesome it's it's such a cool suit i love all the upgrades and, and we're going to talk about the omega suit uh separately i guess but i guess maybe we don't have to i don't know i think uh because like the fusion suit has a very uh, like uh, counterpart but it's kind of like a limey pukey green with like a pink it looks like yeah puke. <laughs> um and then there's a gravity variant which looks like more you know normal uh varia or uh, gravity co suit colors and then the omega suit which is essentially the various suit in terms of colors i guess story-wise it is not t it isn't really the various suit but it is it, it is kind of though because you're absorbing the sax which was in the various suit so it kind of is the various suit but you already had a various suit like upgrade for the fusion suit whatever either way all four of them i think look awesome i love the gravity suit version but just the straight up fusion suit the blue and yellow one i think it's so sick it's so that's like an iconic look for samus uh one of hers um it gives her that like carnal like wild look and really kind of shows also like the game isn't like the standard like thing that's uh, like story or, or scenario that happens in other metroid games um and like the the like on the cover like the the artwork of this game too like yeah this is such a standout suit for me uh yeah this for me i think would be the top of my list i love the fusion suit and all its variants even the pukey lime green one I think is cool in game and I don't think looks too bad. I've seen worse. I've seen, you know, I've seen the Nashville predators, third jerseys. Those are when I'm talking about puke, green, yellow, green, that's a bad look, but wow, that's a deep cut. <laughs> that's that's, a, that's a deep cut. Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting that. You know, I'm talking, oh, but you know what I'm talking about? Um, I know what you're talking about, but this doesn't look as bad. I love the fusion suit and I think it's great. Cause you know, your, your Sam is kind of like crawling and slinking through this, like this lab and, and have like a big kind of bulky suit. I think, maybe wouldn't make sense all the time having this kind of like like uh closer to the chest and and tighter suit makes more sense but and i think it works with the aesthetic 
Um, obviously it works with the story and I love how they incorporated that like story element into her suit, you know, like what you don't really see, like, you know, obviously the suit is kind of incorporated into the story a little bit in most Metro games, but not really. It's just kind of like a video gamey upgrade, but here it's like right from the get go, like your suit is immediately changed based on this infection. And I, it, I love that. I love how they incorporate it. You just it. took the words out of my so, mouth. So yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I absolutely love this one. This is a top tier one. This will definitely, at least for me, stay towards the top of the list as we go through this for sure yeah you you took the words out of my mouth there i you know it's weird because i don't know that i love the actual look of the fusion suit but i do love the idea of the fusion suit where like um you know you've never had the suit be really integral to the story before mm-hmm. it's just you know it, it's an upgrade that lets you traverse new areas but it hasn't played a major factor in the actual story and i love that that basically this suit is the only thing keeping Samus alive, and this suit grants her this entire new world of abilities to absorb these X parasites. Yep. Um, you know, it's a limitation of the graphics at the time, but if they, if they ever redid Fusion, I would love if like the Fusion, like if, if the blue on the Fusion suit, you could actually see almost like move in a sense like that. So mm-hmm. you really kind of get the idea that it's alive. I think that would be so cool. Um, yeah, the art, the spikes on the arms, I think look very cool, and the artwork, like you mentioned, is just. It's so different. It's not Samus in like a powerful position as we've been used to seeing her. She's on her basically her hands and knees and like almost like it almost looks like she's struggling to keep herself up. Um, I, I think that the idea behind it is really cool. I'm not like a huge fan of all of the variants of the fusion suit. I think it would have been stronger if you just like had those abilities, but like they may be it almost did what corruption does where like it changes your suit more um, subtly. But I do think that the design is cool, and like I said, more importantly, I really do love that it like plays a big factor in the story, really, from from start to finish. So, um, you know, I, I don't think myself I would rank it above the Hazard Shield, but I, I'll give it to you, and we can put it at the top for now, because I want some future considerations for later. But yeah, this would be, this would be one that I, I could agree would be near the top of our list uh, once once everything is said and done here, so... Yeah, I, I think that the fusion suit is awesome, and you know what? Also, I it was like immediately, I think iconic because it showed up in Prime, it showed up in yeah. uh, Sam's Returns. So I mean, it's got like a very classic look, and it had that almost right from the get go. I I 100% agree, and yeah, I I hope we get a fusion remake. I'd love to see this suit again, or you know, I mean, I in the fusion um sequel, if there ever is one, I, maybe she'll have the Omega suit, the final variant of that going into that game even looking more at these suits like going like closer to really like get a better look they just the detail and i've even never even noticed how it's like stretched like the upper layers like stretched across like the muscular layer beneath it um and like the the pixel art for when she's standing in the elevator so you get kind of like the full body look in a way Right. Um, look, it just have remind like that pixel work looks so awesome, and it reminds me of like uh, like Marvel vs. Capcom games for some reason. I don't know why, just like the because it looks like Venom. And that's it reminds me of like that like of that character so much, and like Carnage. Um, right. I would love to see this again. I love the art style. I love and you probably all know this by now, but two D for two D Metroids Fusion is my favorite game. So yeah, I love this suit. Um, if you want to put Hazard Shield above Fusion on your list. You can do that or whatever. Uh, no, it, it's okay. We'll we'll make one list and we can have fusion suit at the top. Um, I'm you know what, Dak? I'm gonna I'm gonna call an audible here and also I think we just lump the Omega suit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Into I was about to say suit. we just do that. Yeah, just include it in in the Omega suit fusion suit all that together. I I will say that I I'm not a big fan of the of the Omega suit as we call it or the unknown suit as the game calls it, mostly just because I think the colors blend a little too much. Um, the orange is very similar to the yellow in this, mm-hmm. and then which I mean is is typical of the power suit. But again, we rank the power suit almost dead last. So um, yeah, it's it's not the the various suit necessarily, but it's just it's a very big um, it's distinct contrast between the red of Samus's helmet and the rest of the suit. But I do love the powers and abilities that you get when you acquire it. So yeah, uh, it's cool for that. I'm, I'm with you there. Yeah. The Omega suit we're referring to is like, you know, when you absorb the SAX at the end of fusion, you get your, your suit back essentially, yeah. but you're still in fusion suit, you know, kind of way. Um, yeah, I agree with you. Cause at least in the power suit and the various suit, like the red is more red, like the fusion suits, reds, like kind of like a magenta, you know, her helmet and like her collar, like protector is more of like a magenta than a red. 
Um, the oranges and yellows kind of stand out more in other games. And yeah, it's like a little bit of a lighter orange and a lighter yellow that kind of blend together. So I'll agree. It, it, it's, I also uh, think it's like probably my least favorite fusion variant. I love the original fusion suit um, probably the most. And the gravity is really good. But I, I'm going to say, as I've been sitting here looking at it, the, the Nashville Predators fusion suit is <laughs> the yellow and purple is kind of growing on me, man. I really, oh it, it's God. literally growing on me by the second. I'm looking, I'm looking at it. I'm like, this is a low key fire. This actually looks sick. I love it. I actually really like it. Um, but yeah, oh, I, I could talk Jesus. all about fusion all day. And of course, this is one reason why I love this suit. And I love the arm cannon too. Before we move on, I like how the arm cannon changes. Um, just a little bit it doesn't look like too blocky and and clunky like other you know suits really have it or just like doesn't look the same one thing i don't like about the other m arm cannon is that it looks lame and when they made it like slim and narrower um I th it looks like a toy but like when they did that in fusion it looks it just looks solid it still looks like a solid gun that it can still do some work um and still and, and it has like a kind of like a scaled look to it a little bit it's kind of like layered in a way towards the elbow um so that even then i like there, that too. there we go had to get our other m dig yeah well just it. It other m can't even do that it. right it's literally copying fusion it can't even whatever all right all right, anyway. all right, all right. <laughs> let's let's move on and let's talk about the gravity suit which is um again just one of the one of the more iconic suits uh and it's had a bunch of different variants like we said it has the fusion variant probably the most uh some of the most famous variants of it are the super metroid and the metroid prime variants mm -hmm. You know, I always thought that it, it kind of looked a little bit silly to have, like, purple on yellow. Like, it just, it seemed like orange, red, and yellow all fit together very, very nicely in the various suit. And purple just seems like it kind of comes out of left field a little bit for me. Hmm. Um, so it, it always kind of stuck out to me when, when you acquire that as, like, being odd, I guess is the best word for it. I will say, though... And uh, a bunch of people pointed this out to us when we posed this question over on Twitter that the uh, the gravity suit in Samus Returns is like top tier, and that one doesn't look strange at all. The way that it it has like the blue lines mm -hmm. in it that you it kind of glows. I think that that looks just like really really phenomenal. Actually, I mean it still does look kind of weird to have you know your your purple against yellow against red, but I think that that one looks a little bit less weird just because the lines kind of hold it all together whereas like if you look at if you look at prime for instance it just i don't know it feels a little bit off to me it just feels like somebody like went on ms paint and, and got their paint can and just clicked on the four pieces that needed to be turned from orange to purple so it's not my favorite um other m got a, a nice <laughs> version of the gravity suit where it was no. i think it was like a gravity it's like a, it's like gravity, a gravity tank or yeah something. it's like a gravity yeah. toggle i don't know what it was so so basically you just glow purple and you know what you're gonna hate this but i actually like i don't hate that idea necessarily or i wouldn't have if we if we did it back in like super metroid but by that point the gravity suit is already a staple so whatever that's fine um but yeah I, you know i'm i'm thinking i would rank this one below the hazard shield and above the dark suit if it were up to me hmm. um if if it were just samus returns gravity suit i could maybe rank it a little bit higher but i think that for me the purple does just seem a little bit strange still what about you hmm. i really like the gravity suit it's gonna be a hard toss up for me uh position wise but i've never felt that it looked weird or anything because i like i mean i don't know i think purple and yellow works because like purple and gold works and purple and yellow i think is kind of similar to that um, I do agree that, yeah, like some of the time the gravity suit, especially in like primary and super, it's mostly just a recolor where the orange was, but I never really had too much of an issue with that. I like the prime gravity suit. I liked how her, her, uh, you know, her, her visor became blue and like, you do get the lines there. Um, and I think that, and the blue is kind of like a, I don't even know. It's like a purplish blue instead of just being straight up purple, like in super Metroid, um, mm -hmm. so I don't, know, I always like the Metroid prime gravity suit. Uh, the other M gravity suit or gravity switch toggle feature, whatever is lame and stupid. Don't want to even talk about, I won't even, I won't even give it the time of don't, day don't as a prime there. suit, but, or as a uh, gravity suit, but the Samus or tur turns gravity suit. Yeah, it goes, I think it goes beyond that. It's just, it's not only like the lines, but it adds to the suit. It creates like more 
de detail and texture to the suit. Um, it's more than just a recolor. And like, it, it, what I love about this suit too is that it makes her look more like the Chozo warriors that are featured in the Chozo memories. Um, the the shoulder mm -hmm. pad, like like the the added like uh, glow and the blue glow looks like Chozo like hieroglyphics and and the stories and, and the artifacts and all that and like has that same aesthetic i love the gravity suit in samus return samus return knocked it out of the park in terms of uh, the suits uh even the it power did, you suit know, looks you know awesome. what's one thing the it, you know what it is it is it's her visor um yeah and it, it's a little bit more narrow it, like it looks like she's making like a mean face basically yeah which is why she looks so badass in all of her suits in samus returns so uh, it's very very subtle but like the way that the way that it has like that subtle dip and like oh, it's like a V shape, I think that that really adds to Samus Returns' is, uh, all of the suits in that game. I I agree. I think it's the it's the visor for sure. It has that like menacing, like intimidating. I'm gonna get some stuff done. Look to it, um, and also the exhaust like fan and vent stuff and how the so like the suit like looks a little bulkier at times. It makes you think like this suit can get work done. You know, like it, it's ex it's like exerting a lot of energy can pull out a lot of power you can see like the exhaust fans and the shoulder pads and the extra like workings of the suit um i i love it it looks more of like a like a heavy duty machine uh, and a mech uh, and yeah right. sam's returns really and like the, the 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 arm cannon looks a little bulkier a little more intricate yeah i really love it um back to the gravity suit i think the gravity suit from sam's turn is probably the best one the other m if you're going to count that probably the worst um i like the prime one though in terms of being above or below the hazard shield and the dark and the fusion hmm that's a hard one man uh i i you know i really like the gravity i like the hazard shield um it looks really awesome, but the gravity suit in Samus Returns is just so sick. I think that might over like outweigh the the negatives of like the other M uh, gravity suit. Um, and the hazard shield's really cool, but the gravity suit I feel like is more iconic too, um, and is a awesome recolor that you can count on for the most part, looking good. I think I'm gonna personally say I would put it between Fusion and the hazard shield. I would put it above hazard shield. I'd put it at number two. Uh, I'm gonna push back and say that uh, it it just the indigo looks weird in prime and the the straight up purple looks weird in super and the the gravity glow that we have in other M uh, I think that all of those like aren't they don't they're not home runs and um, you know as awesome as the gravity suit looks in Samus Returns I I think that. I think that those level out, and they can. It'll keep. It'll keep gravity suit below the hazard shield. I think. All right. Well, let's 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 compromise on that since we have the fusion suit at uh, at first place. Yeah, here but I thought so we far. agreed on the fusion suit being number one. That wasn't a compromise. Yeah, but it was for future considerations. I mean, we're not at that point though. I'm gonna. All right. We'll we'll put it there. But I'm also keeping track of where I have mine. All right. All right. Um, let's move on and let's talk about the PED suit. Speaking of, okay. um, this is a cool suit. Uh, like, you know, we, we talked a lot about, um, the hazard shield earlier and a lot of that is also like indicative of the PED suit. They're, they're similar. Um, I do like that this one, like you said earlier, stacks, mm -hmm. like, and it gradually gets more and more corrupted. Um, you know, the function of the suit itself is pretty cool. It lets you go into hyper mode whenever you want. So, you know, that's pretty neat. To me, this one is, uh, it's definitely below the hazard shield. I don't think it looks as cool. It's a little bit more rounded and a little bit more muted. Uh, one thing that I, I don't love about the PED suit, especially when you start off, is that you basically just look like any other Galactic Federation soldier, which, like, to me, Samus should look very, very distinct and unique. So it, the colors are just a little bit too muted, but, you know, it does get better as the game goes on and you gradually become more and more corrupted. But I think the, the ultimate culmination of that is the hazard shield suit. So I, I personally would rank the PED suit decently low on my list, just, just on the basis of like where you, where you start off the game with it and where you get with it until you get the hazard shield. So, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't dislike it by any means. It's just, a, it's a little bit too muted. I think I like my, my, 
suits to pop a little bit more. And uh, this one doesn't necessarily pop the way that I want it to. You like your suits to pop. I get you. Um, I, you know, I'm with you there. I do like when they stand out. But at the same time, one of the things about Samus' character I think is, is good is that she's very adaptable. And she, like, literally adapts her to her surroundings, sometimes absorbing those surroundings. And that changes her sure. look at times. And in Prime 3, she's very much part, like, she's not a lone wolf, really. She's part of, like, an army at times or a larger force. So she's kind of been... You know, she's absorbing that kind of surrounding. I like that she kind of, like, takes on this Federation look to her. It fits with, you know, her circumstances in the game. Um, and, and I again, you know, going back, I like how it's, you know, it looks like it's not just, like, a different suit. It's, like, it looks like they just, you know, it is, she's still wearing her various suit, but, like, they stacked on this different, you know, extra armor. And, like, they took some dude's visors, like, hey, yo, give me that. And just slapped his face mask on the front. I always thought that was funny. Um... It is a bit muted, but I like how it looks. I like how she, like, looks more armored. She has this kind of stacked, like, scaled look to her and fits that. Fe like, she looks like she's all right. Now she's still a standout member of the Force, but she feels more um, fit in with the Federation troops and forces around her. Federation force <laughs> um, around her. And I like that. I think it looks cool. Um, I would put this suit... Hmm. You know... Yeah, I would put it below the hazard shield, but above the dark suit for me. Um, but at the same time, I kind of a part of me almost likes it more than the hazard suit. It's not like it in a different way. I think I like them both in in different ways. The the PD suit is a little more chill. It's a stand a little less standoffish. It's like all right, Samus is kind of like mold like molding into the fold and becoming one with like the larger Federation army for a time. Um, and, and that works. That's not always a bad thing. So I, I like it. I really like this suit. And this is like, I think maybe not iconic for Metroid overall, but when I think back to, uh, Metroid prime three and the build up to it and being anticipated for the game, I remember looking at this suit, always thinking it was really cool. Um, and, and liking it a lot. And yeah, maybe it doesn't stand out too much in terms of functionality. Sure. And I wouldn't put it too much on high on my list. I could give or take it above the hazard shield though. Um, but yeah, it's, right, it's well, right I'm, around I'm going to read off. So our official list so far is number one, the fusion suit, number two, hazard shield, number three, gravity suit, number four, dark suit, number five, power suit. So I would be willing to say that I like this below the gravity suit, but above the dark suit. What do you say to that? Yeah. So what? So fusion hazard, I would put it, I would, if we're going to go by that list, I would put fusion hazard, gravity, PED, dark power. Yeah. Okay. That's exactly what we got. Um, okay, perfect. So, like Dak just said, number one, we've got the fusion suit. Number two, the hazard shield. Number three, the gravity suit. Number four, the PED suit. Number five, the dark suit. And number six, the power suit. Let's throw a curveball in here, Dak, and talk about the zero suit, which really is kind of an anomaly, and it's incomparable to everything else. But you do play as Samus in the zero suit, in zero mission. Of course, this is her famous uh, blue leotard with the paralyzer gun. There's no powers necessarily to speak of, and you you don't play the same as you do in any other suit. But since it is a playable suit, we you know I figured that we should put it on our list. Um, you know this, I, I actually really like the look of the power or of the zero suit rather. But it is it's tough to compare against all of these other suits because obviously it's such a different it's such a different look. But I think just in terms of like how instantly iconic it became, it does warrant you know, mentioning, and it does warrant a spot on this list. Uh, you know, I, I think that I would put it somewhere in the middle just because it shows a different side of Samus and it shows a different way that you can play as Samus. And, you know, it, it looks cool too. Yeah, this is low for me. Um, I've never been a Zero Suit fan. I mean, you know, obviously, like, Samus is an attractive woman, and in a Zero Suit, it's a tight, skin-tight suit. Obviously, you know, she looks good in it, and it's a cool-looking suit beyond that. But that's not really what I'm here for Metroid. <laughs> that's, not, like, that's not why I play Metroid. Um, I, I like wearing a cool power suit or playing a character who does, right? Whether or not Samus is a woman or not or looks good or not or is attractive or not or whatever, it doesn't really make a difference to me. Um, so I've never really been a big fan of the zero suit thing. I liked the zero suit mission and zero mission. Um, mm -hmm. that chapter is cool. It was a slight departure from the normal Metroid gameplay, but it was good in that moment. I don't need a whole game of that. I mean, we talked, we had our own zero suit episode, 
uh, you know, talk about whether or not they'd make a Zero Suit Samus game. I don't know if I'd need, like, a whole game like that. Maybe if it was a little more stealthy, a little more action-y, that'd be cool. But, like, I'm not a big Zero Suit Samus person, and, you know, when she was right. made into Smash, she became, like, a Smash character, and, and the whole Zero Suit Samus thing was really popularized by Smash, not really by Metroid at all. Um, she's cool. I have no problem with Zero Suit, but it's not really what I play Metroid for. Um, it, it's, it's iconic, I guess, because it's such a contrast look for Met or for Samus. And she, you know, she shows up like that in, in smash bros and other media. So of course it's going to be a standout look for her. Um, but is it like something that I really like or care about uh, beside the fact that, yeah, it's like an attractive woman in the game. Um, not really, it's not really my thing. And you know, it doesn't have any cool powers or anything. Uh, it's a very limiting, yeah, I'm not a huge favorite. I would put it honestly. I would put it either at the bottom of my list or above power, maybe. Um, I yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the Zero Suit. It's it's not that I dislike it per se or like I hate it. I'm just like eh, whatever. I, I see what you're saying. I, I like I do like the Zero Suit just because I'm a fan of stealth gameplay. Um, and we talked about this on our Zero Suit episode. Um, you know it. You're right. Like it's great that. That Samus is a good-looking woman, but I mean, nobody really plays Metroid for that. I'm, well, some I people think... might, and you know what? If you do, that's fine. Whether or not you do, that's fine. That doesn't bother me. It's more like, and you know, and people have opinions on whether you know should Samus be sexualized in certain ways and or or at all. And the Zero Suit certainly is part of that discussion. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. Is at the end of the day, I like playing Metroid because I like playing a character who is wearing like a. Uh, a power suit who can do cool stuff and, and, and fight aliens and explore these uh, places sure. and whatever, all that. And I, and the zero suit thing was, yeah, it, it, it was part, it was tied to the stealth gameplay, which I agree is cool in, in bouts. And maybe you like it more than I do. That's fine. Um, but as an overall suit, um, I just think it, it doesn't really reflect a lot of what I like about Metroid. Um, not that it's bad or which anything. Which is fine. I just like the actual suit, I think looks really cool. Like it, it looks good. Uh, you know, it, without without taking into account like the the attractiveness of Samus or whatever like it's just a cool looking suit um and I and I like the the gameplay section that comes along with it but you know like I said this would rank towards the middle of my list but you know I could I could agree that y you're not a fan so we can put it you know I I think I'd be fine to put this above the power suit maybe second to last yeah if that works for you yeah it's not it's not that's end. okay you know just like the power it's suit end. is you know it's not horrible um okay but yeah it's fine i think it, it it is a cool suit though i will and i like the different colors in smash i will say that she has some cool uh different color uh reskins in the smashers the zero suit so i'll give it that number one we've got the fusion suit number two hazard shield number three gravity four ped five dark suit six the zero suit and seven that poor power suit god i feel horrible for the power suit here because we got some bangers left, and it's almost for sure going to finish in last place, but that's okay. Uh, let's move on. Let's talk about the light suit from Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. This is a big fan favorite of a lot of people I know, and for good reason. This one looks really, really cool. It's uh, it's it's almost like it's such a contrast to see Samus like basically in all white, especially after you were in the, the muted mm -hmm. dark suit. So this, this suit just looks really sleek. She almost looks like an Apple product, actually. She's got... The only thing I don't really care for in this suit is the three... Um, I don't even know what they are. Like oh, the, holes the or four whatever holes on, her chest. on her chest? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that aside, though, I think that this suit looks, like, really, really cool. She just looks very sleek. She looks like a robot in this, uh, even more so than usual. Um, it just... It looks very futuristic, and it doesn't look like anything else that she's ever worn. And this is kind of the, you know, this is kind of the pinnacle of Retro Studios taking the idea of Samus' suits and, and making them more and more, like, extravagant. Because you start off with, with the Phazon suit, you move to the dark suit, and then I feel like you kind of culminate in the light suit. Like, the PED suit is, like we just talked about, it's, it's more muted and stuff, but this is just a very extravagant suit. Um, and functionally as well, it's, you know, this is, again, it's the, it's the point in the game where you can now go anywhere, do anything. You're not going to take any damage. So functionally, it's awesome. And then looks-wise, I think that it looks like just incredibly sleek, incredibly futuristic. 
Uh, very, very cool design. I would rank this one fairly high on my list, Dak. What about you? Yeah, I agree. I love the light suit. Um, I always thought it made her look like uh, it made her look like the robots from that Will Smith movie, I Robot. Like, uh, yeah, I, I can though, see that. They look, they have that, that kind of like smooth white, like exterior look. Um, yeah, I really like the light suit. This is my favorite suit from obviously from Prime 2. Um, yeah, it just it stands, it stands out so much. The shoulder pads are kind of like stretched, pulled over from like her chest plate, and they don't really seem to have, they're not as big as the Dark Samus one, or, uh, sorry, the Dark Suit ones. Um, but it still has, even though it looks different, it's still unlike the fusion suit. I think still like retains that, you know, you know, uh, power suit look more or less. Um, right. But and I and I always I actually, as you mentioned that, I always liked the the orbs. I don't even know what you really call them on her on the front of her suit because they, they always remind me of like speakers. So I always liked the as a kid, I always thought they were speakers or like like the pretend they were. Um, but. Yeah, I I mean I can't say much of that other than what you've already said. Like the you know you never really see her in full white. It's you know and of course in the game itself, especially after just having the dark suit, it is uh, a, a large contrast and to have that juxtaposition is really cool. I love this suit. Um, it it structurally looks different than all the other ones. You don't have the normal chest plate. You don't have the normal shoulder pads. Even her visor is slightly different. It has like the kind of prime visor, but it's still twirled or like curved slightly up at the edges. Um, whereas like the you know the dark suit visor is more like the the prime one varia uh, visor, which actually is my favorite um, visor for the prime uh, var varias. But yeah, I love the light suit. It looks awesome. And again, the, I love when you know the the suit structure changes like that, and you get a little bit of a, a different taste of the the norm, or you know something different from the norm. So yeah, light suit's one mm -hmm. of my favorites for sure. Um, in terms of where we put it on the list, I would put it. I mean, towards the top for me. Um, you know, around like I, I'm not gonna lie. I think I would put it at the top. I, of what I would we put have it right below now. fusion, but above everything else. Okay, I, I can I can live with that for right now. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about the various suit. We're finally there, and this this is the iconic suit worn by Samus in almost every single Metroid game. Um, you know, when you think of Samus, you think of her in the various suit, the iconic bulky shoulder pads, the orange and yellow coloring, the the red chest plate. Uh, you know, I think that this suit is absolutely fantastic. They've managed to to augment it uh, more and more and more where now you see it in, in Samus Returns and it has all those detailed lines and like you know Samus just looks incredibly muscly in it I, I you know I know that you don't feel this way but I think that even in Other M the suit looks really great um, I do not <laughs> this is it's it's just such an iconic look um, that for me like this is like, like this is probably number one like functionally it's not you know it's not the best you you gain you gain some heat resistance when you get the various suit, but just for just for the iconic stature of this suit, this is this is probably number one for me. Just on you know the premise that like man, this is Samus. You think you see Samus in Smash Bros. and she's wearing the various suit. You see Samus in Mario RPG. She's wearing the various suit. You see you think of Samus and she is wearing the various suit. Um, I I just think that it looks so good. And it looks good in every iteration. I'm looking at, you know, all of these different versions of the various suit, and I don't see a single stinker among them. So this is, this is the Metroid suit for me. What about you? Yeah, I, it's hard to argue against that because yeah, this is the look for for Samus. That's what we know. Like, um, yeah, I I love the various suit. I, though I won't, I don't like anything about other M, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know the very suits great yeah every one of them's a hitter like in super metroid i love the the look is so iconic and in, in metro the prime series the the various suit changes slightly over the games um but i like every version i think the prime one various suit is probably my favorite out of all of them because it has that like flatter top to the visor it makes it look a little more intimidating and the prime two and three suits especially the prime two suit but i think the prime three as well show a little more uh, and like have a little less armor, especially around the neck area for some reason. Um, but like the Prime Two Varia looks so sick. I love the the Prime Three is a little muted, like all the Prime Three suits are for some reason. But yeah, um, still looks good. 
looks iconic. The you know the red and the yellow with the green is like that's a color scheme that you you, you know stands out immediately. Um, yeah, the the Prime Two actually, I love the how the shoulder pads look at the Prime Two version. Um, even like in Metroid Fusion, you know whether you're considering it like the various suit, like the the greeny the limey green purple one which is technically the various suit i think looks cool or the omega suit which is the various colors i think looks fine um other m i think it's not i don't think it has anything to do with the the suit itself or the colors really it's the suit itself it's like how the the shoulder pad everything it's too smooth and like the the, the details are kind of like random and all over the place like it's just like it's they're just lines that don't seem to really make sense and the chest plate is... I don't oh, know. Come I, the, the come other, on. Dude, the other you, M suit sucks. No, suit, no. The other M suit If you saw this suit sucks. and knew that it wasn't from other M, you yes, would, I would love dude, it. No, come this on. other M suit, it's it's not good. The the gun looks like a little toy. You barely have a little oh, a cannon a there right there. You have all like... She looks like she has like the, the hip area. It looks weird. The shoulder pads are lame. Give the visor is break. basic. The most <laughs> basic looking visor. The chest piece looks like... It's not even like... I, Dude, I'm no. The other M suit is All right, awful. no no more talk about other M. Where are you ranking the various suit, damn it? The various suit in Samus Returns. So good. That's how you do a various suit right there. I love it. Um <laughs> I think we got to put the various suit at the top, right? I think we got to. Yeah. I I yeah, I am totally down with that. Um this it's just it's 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 iconic. What else can you say, right? It looks good in pretty much if not every game. And they, it's evolved over time, and yeah, looks good. Love it. Very suit at the top for me. All right, so I, I've been a little bit sneaky, actually, and I've saved my number one suit for me in the Metroid series for the very last, and uh, I was hoping to surprise you with this because I, I figured that you would think that my top suit overall would be the various suit. But, in fact, I think that the greatest suit in the Metroid series is the Phazon suit from Metroid Prime, this is everything that I love about a look in Metroid. It, I mean, first of all, it just, it looks so, so cool. It's a completely different color palette than anything we've ever seen Samus in before, but it also doesn't feel like weird or out of place, kind of like I feel like the gravity suit does. I think that it makes sense in the context of like where you are in the game and like the game's world. I think that the way you get it is incredible because it's also it's part of the story and it makes sense it's not just like a, a random suit upgrade that you find that just happens to be on this planet you get the suit because the omega pirate falls on you and you absorb all of the phase on from it so from a storyline perspective it makes sense as well um you know we talked about the the dark suit earlier being a little bit muted and and bland and colorless this is the exact opposite like it's very glossy and it pops um, the black just like pops right out at you and then you've got all of the red lights and Samus's visor is just like glowing blood red. I think that it looks like absolutely incredible. And you know, to top that all off, this is also the last upgrade that you get in Metroid Prime and it allows you to, again, go anywhere, do anything. So it really is a perfect combination of it looks incredible, it makes sense in the story, and it's the ultimate power-up in Metroid Prime. For me, this is number one on my list of suits. Dak, what say you? Yeah, I think you're... I'm right there with you, man. I love the Phasen suit. It's so awesome. It's always been one of my favorite... I mean, honestly, I think the Phasen suit and the Fusion suit, like... Because the very suit's always, like, a given for me, you know? Um, right. The Fusion and the Phasen suits have always been the favorite favorites for me. And I love the Phasen suit. 100% agreed. Uh, the black with the red and 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 even if you really look like her, her the main part of her body is like a silver um it's like a robocop kind of silver like the middle part of her body and the helmet um but it looks like blackish against the the jet glossy black too um excuse me and yeah you have the blood red glow of the lines and like on her hand uh the and then at that point you know you have like you know the hyper mode uh being able to shoot that and um, not the hyper mode, but you know, like being able to shoot the phase in from the pools, like the contrast with your blue gun is sick. Um, mm -hmm. and the phase in beam when you're using, you know, or when you're using the plasma beam, sorry, geez, I'm just getting, I love this suit. Uh, when you're using the, the plas the plasma beam alongside with this suit, it looks so sick. Yeah. This is like, this is like the look you're building up to it. It's like, this is, I think the unanimous, like when you look at this, like, yeah, this is awesome. This is sick. Um, and agreed how you 
get the suit is really cool. Like you absorb it after beating a boss that falls on top of you. It gets pulled away from you and creates like essentially the extension of the boss you end up fighting throughout the rest of the trilogy. So I think it, I think this suit really hits. And of course, functionality wise, it allows you to, you know, fight the last boss. Right. So right. I think it, this suit hits like all, like it checks off all the boxes. It's, you know, functionality wise, it's necessary. You need it. And it's very strong and very powerful. Um, it looks really cool, um, you know, better than almost any other suit. It's such a, it's it, it's not it, it is like a, a recolor, but it, it just it feels so much more than that. Um, and story and lore wise is really awesome, really cool how you get it and how it works into the overall story of not just the game if it's included in, but the entire trilogy. You know, it's the, the implications of the suit as it is. You know, and, and this is the first time too. Speaking of recoloring and how it's like. It is kind of a recolor, but it's not. This is a, this is the first time too that we've ever seen Samus's helmet change colors because it's yeah, always it's, been yeah. red no matter what. And dude, just to see that that inverse with like the visor being red and the and the helmet being that sleek silver, like it, oh man, it looks. Oh good. yeah, it, it looks it's it's so awesome. It's really cool. I would love to see um, this suit somehow like come. I wish it had come back or whatever. Um, and I I can't believe they never put it in Smash. Yeah, I think the phase in suit. I would, I would comfortably put that at the top. Yep, I agree. Uh, it's going right at the top for me, and uh, that brings us to almost the conclusion of our list. I'll read off what we got so far here. Number one, the phase on suit. Number two, the various suit. Number three, the fusion suit. Number four, the light suit. Number five, the hazard shield. Number six, the gravity suit. Number seven, the PED suit. Number eight the dark suit number nine the zero suit and number 10 the power suit but as a joke i got one more suit for you dak you were scoffing at me earlier when i suggested it but by god we're gonna rank it justin bailey from metroid one of course we're talking long luscious green hair the purple bikini the arm cannon I, I, this is probably challenging for the top spot am i right <laughs> oh it's 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 clearly the top spot <laughs> I, you know what, unironically, I'm not going to lie, I actually love the design of Justin Bailey. I think that it, it's just like, it's so absurd that it, it looks fantastic to me. Like, the green hair, I, I love it. Yeah, I, I you know, it's, uh, I gotta admit, I don't really like it. I like the Zero Suit way better. I think if we're going to pick between the Zero Suit and Justin Bailey, Zero Suit, I think, like, Zero Suit makes sense, makes more sense. Um, and I thought it was just a really cool look. Um, and again, I don't want to come off as like a zero suit hater or anything from earlier. I, I think zero suit is fine. It's not overall in terms of my suits, it's not something I'd rank high. And against the Justin Bailey though, definitely easy pick. Justin Bailey is like who even is Justin Bailey? Who even is this first two names guy? Um, it's it's so absurd though. It's yeah. that's that's what makes it so. Great. I think it's because the only way you can maybe if if it was in other Metroid games and I got a better look. I don't know. I because it's only in the original Metroid games, so it's just like. Even in the original Metro game, everything looks weird. Like, all the suits look weird, too. Like, I can't, you know, so because of how Samus runs and, like, her body proportions are just so weird. Um, so, yeah, uh, I don't know, man. I think that's the number one for me. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, yeah. You know what? I think that you can't even rank Justin Bailey on this list. It's just on a list entirely on its own. So... There it is. There is our official ranking of all of the different suits in the Metroid series. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, with how this list ended up. My number one and number two on my personal list were the same as the ones that we ended up with. So, you know what? I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I think the only place we disagreed is the fusion placement. Cause it was the gravity suit that was the... The stickler there, not the fusion suit. I think I think that's fine. Um, they're both cool suits. And honestly, again, this is one of the things where... And I think... the. With the Ridley fights too, and a lot of things in Metroid, all of it's a lot of it's good, you know. Most of it's good, so it's hard to rank some of this stuff. Because even like looking at this list, like looking at Dark being eight, I'm like, yeah, but I like the Dark suit, you know. Um, the PED yeah, me, suit, me I too, like the yeah. PED suit, uh, but it's hey, it's it's no phase, it's no variance, it's no fusion. Um, I, I think the only one that you could say is this like kind of lame is the power suit, but you know, it, just functionally, it's lame because that's you're starting off with like. No powers. It's your base suit, yeah. right? And so, even just look that, at the yeah, zero the mission point. one, because the zero. I I really like if they ever did 
a Metroid anime or like another or whatever, or maybe like the next 2D Metroid. I really wish they would do that aesthetic again. I love how Zero Mission looks. Like if the Zero Mission power suit is is choice. I love that. But yeah, um, I think that's a pretty solid list, and I'm I'm curious to say uh, see what people have to say about our list and and the suits overall because I think we're gonna be pretty spot on with how people think overall. But I'm curious to think. Uh, or curious to see if anyone has any major disagreements with us. Absolutely. We want you guys to let us know what you think of our list. Uh, does it rule? Does it suck? Where are your suits ranked in your own personal list? Let us know over on Twitter at Omega Metroid Pod, or you can check us out over on Discord. We are at the Metroid Database's Discord server at Omega Metroid Podcast. Um, that's going to do it for us for this week. Uh, we are going to be back next week with our second ever mapping metroid dak do you think it's time to reveal which area we're going to be uh covering or should we let them wait i uh, yeah i think we need to let it marinate a little bit man okay okay uh well we're going to be back with mapping metroid for next week uh we hope that you guys are coming back with us uh next week as well we want you to check us out over on twitter at omega metroid pod i am at spateri 316 and dak is at the rapture underscore and uh, of course we want you to check us out over on iTunes and Podbean and Spotify. You know the drill. Wherever you get your podcasts, go like and subscribe. And uh, recommend us to a Metroid fan in your life. Uh, that's the best way to help the show grow. It's just by uh, giving those retweets and, and sharing with your buds. So tell them where they can get their Metroid fix. Uh, leave us a five-star review if you think that we have earned it. That would be really awesome. And if we get enough of them, we'll read them out on the show here. Um, that is it. That's all. We will see you guys next week for some Mapping Metroid. Until then, take care.